Hey everyone, uh, good evening. This, so this video is mostly for people who live in California, but I'm sure it still will apply to other places too. So in California, there's now um, testing centers for you to get tested at for the COVID-19 coronavirus. Um, and this woman who had no health insurance went to Scripps Hospital to get tested, but because she was uninsured, she got a $1,500 fine um, after speaking to the hospital, they reduced it to $700, um, and she's doing monthly payments, but still, it's a, it's still a lot of money if you don't have health insurance. Um, so, so, for people who don't have health insurance, um, For people who don't have health insurance, um, the state-sponsored health insurance in California is really good. Medi-Cal, um, it's probably better than most um, Medicaid systems in other states in the United States. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know her circumstance or why she was uninsured, but um, definitely it's it's, uh, there's criteria that people have to meet to get state-sponsored um, health insurance, so, um, yeah. But, yeah, she just felt tightness in her breath, um, in her chest, and so when she went to get tested, um, yeah, she was really surprised that she got the bill. Um, so, I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, the first is that if you think you are going, if you think you might have COVID-19, there's a, there's a self-check thing on, um, the Center for Disease Prevention. There's a self-check thing for, on the uh, CDC's website. So, so we're, let's, let's do this together. Um, just to show people. So the purpose of this is to for you to make important medical decisions, um, and then you agree the partnership Microsoft's Azure platform. So that's probably with like Microsoft, Bill, Melinda Gates Foundation, stuff like that. Um, so you agree. Hi, I'm Clara. I'm here to guide you. Um, call 911 if it's a life-threatening emergency. During your session, you can refresh your page. Uh, okay. And it sounds like I'm feeling okay. Well, I don't really want to take up CEC resources. But yeah, it's a pretty simple test. It looks like it's really user-friendly. Um, don't know if Clara is like a real person or not. But... The next thing I wanted to talk about was um, the test that this woman took was a, a nasal swab test for COVID-19 and the FDA today, April 14th, 2020, they approved um, the first saliva test. So this one would look for the COVID-19 um, RNA and it, it showed that it was like as effective as the nasal swab test. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but just going back, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous that, um, people are out of work, uh, most people are out of work if they're non-essential, and that these tests, they're not, um, at a lower cost, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I understand that it takes money to make um, tests and to distribute the tests, um, but I feel like there shouldn't be a profit being made at this time on uh, coronavirus. I think that like really dissuades people, public in the public, to to get tested, um, and that uh, that that. And during a pandemic, that potentially puts other lives at risk, too, because now someone who might be experiencing symptoms, um, who doesn't have health insurance, they might, um, they might not get tested and it might 
they might be infected and might spread. So the price is is, is really high, um, especially for a nasal swab test. But yeah, um, but I, I wish, you know, medi is really good. I wish that um, like there was maybe a state-sponsored emergency fund for people who didn't have uh, Medi-Cal, or maybe like a, a quick um, emergency sign-up for people. Because um, either way, if you think about it, if you, you keep someone healthy or alive, they it's like the, I mean, that's the whole point of, of uh, of a medical system, but um, yeah, the uh, the act that the government passed that one was only to cancel co-payments, but um, so yeah, the outrageous fees. Yeah, I'll link the article. So thanks for watching.